Thanks for checking out this movie review video. So this is for the 2017 release Game of Death. And a lot of people may not have heard of this film. I hadn't heard of this film, but there was some buzz online and social media and particularly this horror group I'm in. And some people were saying, man, how did I not know about this film? Uh, it is on Shudder at the moment when I'm doing this review. So that's where I watched it. And because of the buzz, I was like, I'm going to check this one out. And especially when I took a look and I said, it's like an hour and 13 minutes. And that blew my mind because if you've watched enough of my reviews, you know I'm very big about if you don't need a longer runtime, don't make a longer runtime. Don't stretch a film just to fit a time. So I was very intrigued by that to be like, oh, that's awesome. It, they didn't try and stretch it to an hour and a half or whatever. So great. Now, that said, wasn't the biggest fan of this film. In fact, I really dislike this film. I think it's kind of, in my opinion, I hate it. I think it's garbage. But... There are a few good things about it, and like I always say, as my big disclaimer, I do believe that every film is worth watching at least once, just so you personally can make up your mind on how you feel about it, because there are definitely going to be people who love this film. There are going to be people who hate this film like me. There are going to be in-betweeners. Uh, well, I say hate this film. I didn't hate the film. I just disliked it, I guess, because there are things I recognize as pretty good in this film, and I'll talk about those. I'm also not going to do spoilers on this, because I realize that it's from 2017, so it's, you know, not super, super new, but I, I don't think a lot of people have seen this, and if people want to, go ahead and do it. I don't want to ruin anything. So this is directed by Sebastian Landry, and that's, this is his second feature film, and also Lawrence Murray Lagasse, um, who did, or this was his first feature film, and it was written by Landry, Maurice Lagasse, Edward H. Bond, and Philip Colin Hedge... Hodge Du, I'm sure I messed that up, so I apologize, but um, this is one of the things that it gets to. Whenever I see a script, uh, the writing credits on a script, more than two people, I start to get very concerned because that means that most likely it's going to be convoluted. It's not going to have one voice like it needs to have. Every time you add a person into the writing process with a script, it increases the chances exponentially of there being a problem or it being a muddled mess. The script is not good. I will say that. The script is bad. There's a good concept here, and for the first about half an hour, you think it's going to go there and you think it'll all come to fruition, but then after that, it just starts really spiraling out of control. So let me give you the real quick synopsis on this film, just a few sentences, not really uh, ruining anything because, you know, there are synopses out there that I'm sure everyone's read that give a, a lot more away, but it's basically about some teenagers, millennials, it's called out in the synopses, millennials, who are getting together and hanging out, and they find this game, a la Jumanji, and they decide to play this game, and it is called Game of Death, and that is exactly what happens with it. There is death involved with Game of Death. So that's as much as I'm going to say. Like I said, if you have interest, go ahead and watch this film. It's not a huge commitment because it's an hour and 13 minutes. It's not like it's two hours, so you can just kind of give it a shot and be like, I, I mean, I wasn't mad that I spent time on it, not at all, because it was relatively short. If, 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 if this film was what it was, and it was like two hours, I would have been pissed. So anyway, the intro is cool. It's like a 90s computer game graphics type intro. I love that. I've not seen anyone do that before. It was really cool, visually really cool, and nostalgia-wise for me personally, really cool, because I remember playing those video games back in the day. And it ties into the actual game itself and some stuff about the actual game. That said, too, the Game of Death game is a really cool design. It looks cool. It's used really well in the film, too, not just from the standpoint of how it looks and how the rules of the game go, but also there's a noise that the game board makes that gets, gets integrated into the actual music, which I thought that was kind of brilliant and a really cool inspired thing that happens in this film. See, I didn't hate it. There are things I like about this. Uh, it's millennials and it feels like it, it feels like it's millennials since there's so much recording on random, uh, with random stuff on their phones. It gives it, it, it did a good job of like giving it that kind of like now, now or nowadays younger generation feel. But at the same time, like a lot of those recordings were more distraction and they didn't really add much of anything to the actual film. And that comes to one of the other issues with the film is that the characters suck. Like they're paper thin characters. They're extremely weak. I could have cared less about any of them. I 
I would be interested to know in the comments if anyone watched this film and felt that they really felt for any character involved, because I did not. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it shouldn't be. Like, you should connect at, on some level with characters in the film, and it just does not happen. Like, they're poorly written characters. This goes back to what I was saying. The script is not good. There's a good concept, and then there were some good practical effects like, there's some good technical stuff. And I will say, like, cinematography, for the most part, looks pretty cool. Directing, pretty good. The acting is, for a low-budget film, is good enough. I will say that. Uh, some people better than others, acting-wise, in the film. As is typically the case with low-budget. Uh, the interweaving in the beginning portion is very, very stylish. And it has music that plays very, very well with it. It's kind of a... Um, it's an interweaving of, like, montage of a bunch of things going on, these kids hanging out, kind of partying, and the way that they work in the music with the montage of what's going on, with the style of the camera work, it looks cool, and it is good, and it is stylish, and it is awesome. I just wish the film had more of that to it, because it seems like they just use it up in the beginning, and then they just drop it, basically. It's like they were very inspired when they started making the film, and then they got to a point, probably about the half hour mark, where they were like, well, let's just finish this thing. I'm kind of over it, because it's been taking longer than I want to. I've got a short attention span, and I, let's just finish this thing. Uh, it's very sexually focused in the very beginning, which I don't know if it's really supposed to be satire in that aspect or not. Uh, because of, like, the perception of young people, and they're always horny and trying to get it on, and blah, blah, blah. Because there's, like, this this just grouping of sexuality and drug use. And it's just, you know, it's cliche. It's unbelievably cliche, which goes back to the whole, you know, script's not great. But um, I don't know if it was intentional for the overly sexual aspect of it, but it's not needed, really. I mean, you can make it a little bit sexual, but the to the degree that they take it, it's just like, Why? It just seems dumb. Uh, the first death in this is done with CGI, you can tell, but it's kind of done from a distance, so it actually looks good. And there is, then the second one, I think, uses a little bit of practical and CGI, and it kind of, you know, there's a mix of the CGI and the practical throughout the film with every death, and I think that the way they did that was good. It was kind of the perfect mix, in my opinion, and when they did use CGI, it doesn't look like crap. They, they did it kind of far enough away or in a way that it looks good. So good job on that from that aspect. They did well with it. Uh, and there's copious amounts of gore, too, which I did enjoy. And I think that's one of the things that people are really enjoying when I'm seeing people commenting about enjoying it online is the the some of the death aspects of it and the gore. So that is well done. There's intentional shaking of the camera for intent, some intense scenes that are early on, but I think they have a t they kind of stepped over a line a little bit. Like, you can shake it a little bit when it's kind of like an intense scene, which is what they did, but they did it too much. They went too far with it. They sustained it too long. It was it was too much, you know, just kind of like pull it back. And then in, the, in general, this film, I would just say, like, be more restrained. It's very over the top. It's very ridiculous in the way that it's done, and it doesn't work. I don't know if it was just supposed supposed to be that way for some reason, but for me, it just did not work that way. It just makes it come off as just kind of dumb. It's interesting how they incorporate noises from the game into the music, like I was talking about. That was pretty awesome and ingenious. The characters are exaggerated. That's another thing. I was saying that they're weak characters, but they're also very exaggerated. It's kind of like every single character is like, one personality trait just exaggerated to the nth degree basically and none of them are likable some of them are downright annoying it's ugh. you i mean i really just found myself being like i want everyone in the film to end up dying because i can't stand any of them really there's a real drawn out scene that's supposed to be funny but it's actually unbelievably annoying and stupid um and that kind of gets to another thing with this film which is Yes, I said kudos because it's only an hour and 13 minutes, but it feels longer than that. How can a film that's under an hour and a half feel longer than that? That's a pacing issue. That's a writing issue. That's just an issue issue. Uh, yeah, that's bad. That should never happen. That should never happen. And like I said, like it was moving well and it was engaging for like the first half an hour. It's just like it just all started 
the wheels started coming off after that and it was just this downward spiral into just like boring and drawn out and unfocused and exaggerated and dumb and just yeah it just it went downhill fast uh, at one point, they transitioned to a montage of different animations as a way to speed up what would have been kind of the best part of the film, honestly. I think they did that for budget. Now, the animation portion of it does look kind of cool, and it's a mixture of a bunch of animations, which I thought was interesting. Um, but at the same time, like, that was potentially going to be your bread and butter montage if you did it, like, actual filming-wise. But I assume it was based off budget, so I guess it wasn't the worst th thing they could have done. But at the same time, I think they should have kind of cut some of the other stuff and tried to see if they could make it. Like, gone bigger at that time. Like, really gone bigger. Because the way they end the film, they could have and should have probably gone big. And they just, it's just like this whimpering finish, in my opinion, that was very unsatisfying and whatever. Very overwrought. Uh... So the acting, like I said, good enough. Cinematography looks good, and especially for being low budget, I will say that. You know, visually, there's some really good stuff going on. Kudos for only the, uh, specifically, an hour of 13 minutes and 24 seconds, but it's still too long at that, somehow. That says the script is not there. Should have spent a lot more time on that script and maybe had less people involved. There's a good premise with good gore, but there's no real story with the, with a cast comprised of super weak characters, like I've already said. The point they're going for, I believe, in this film is that younger generations are brought into a world where they're, they are screwed no matter what they do, and it wasn't ever of their design. Which is a good point and a good theme. It's been done before a little bit here and there, like Assassination Nation is a very great example of what this film kind of tries to do, but those things on vastly different levels. Uh, Assassination Nation is an amazing film. This film tries to do basically the same theme terribly, just, yeah, just a nosedive. So that said, the directors, I would like to see do something else not have them involved with the actual writing, get a really good writer, get a really good script, because it looks like they have a good eye. And with practical effects and uh, CGI, it looks like they know what they're doing. Like, they could put together a good film. They just need the bones, like the, the good bones to, to build around. So I would be interested to see what they'll do in, in the future. So out of five stars with half stars in play, it's one star. I mean... It's a one-star film. I can't really, I can't give it much more. I, I was between one and one and a half, but at that point, what's the point? Uh, between one and one and a half, because it's bad. But yeah, it's got to be one just because the story's just not there. It's so meandering and unfocused and ridiculous uh, in a bad way. It's, it's not nearly as fun as it really should have been for how vapid it is. So, yeah. Uh, one, one star. Uh, but... Let's talk about this. Uh, put some comments down there. Were you one of the people who really loved it? And if that is the case, go ahead and tell me why. I'm always open to hearing why people really liked something. Maybe there was something that I kind of missed. I don't know. Maybe it plays on some other level that I'm just not sensitive to. I don't know. But we can talk about that. Go ahead. Spoilers in the comments. Doesn't matter. We can do spoilers down there. Uh, do me a quick favor, though. Hit that subscribe button if you can. And you can because it literally takes a second. That is your way to repay me because I'm not making money or anything doing this. I'm just putting out these reviews for people and myself, really, because I just want to talk about these films. And it's the comments that are really what I'm looking for here. So uh, I want to keep some of you same people engaged because there are people who pop up with some amazing comments. So if you are a subscriber and you hit the notification bell as well, you'll always know when my videos are hitting. So, you know, you can see what I have to say and then we can have a cool conversation. But anyway, thanks regardless for checking this out. I really appreciate your time. And until next time, keep it brutal.